Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of converting units. This is standard 4.8b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 26 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have the distance between Henry's house and his school is 648 feet. So if we wanted to measure his house right here and then to the school, so we'll make that a little bit bigger with a door. Little bell right there, there we go, 648 feet. And we need to just convert that into yards. How many yards are equivalent to 648 feet? Well, if we look on our mathematics chart that is included in the test, we will see that three feet is equal to one yard. That's all, that's all we know. And so if I were to take this 648 feet, well, I could take three of those feet and I can make that into one yard. And I can take another three feet and make it into one yard. And I can just keep carving out three feet chunks until I run out of feet. And I'm not sure how many feet, how many chunks of three feet I can take out of that 648 until I run out. But that's really what we're looking at. So that almost looks like a part part hole. Let me separate that for us here. So we've got 600. 48, that's our total. And then really, we're just looking for how many sets of three, because that's the conversion we need. Three feet equals one yard. How many sets of three can we get out of that 348? So that's what our strip diagram will look like. And so that lets us know we've got two options here. So we can multiply three times something, right? How many sets of three does it take to get to 648? I know my three facts, but I don't know them that far up. Another way is we could use a related sentence, and that would be division. And typically that's the easiest way to do it is when we see how many sets of three can we get out of something since they are equal groups, because they are equal groups of three, and that equal groups lets us know that we are dealing with multiplication or division. Let's just divide by three. So that's long division. So that's what we're going to need to set up here. So let's see, how many times can 3 go into 648? And let's remember our uh, does McDonald's sell cheese burgers? Let's divide, multiply, subtract, check, and then bring down. Those are our steps. So three goes into start of this first one, six. Yeah, actually it does. It goes in there twice. Three times two is six. Subtract, we got nothing left. Check, is that zero? That difference less than our divisor? Yes, it is. Bring down just one digit at a time. So let's leave that eight. Let's just start it again with four. So three goes into four one time. One times three is three. 4 minus 3 is 1. Check, is this difference of 1 smaller than my divisor? Yes, if it's not smaller, you need to divide a little bit larger. Has to be smaller than that. And then now we can bring down our 8. Oh, that's going to go in evenly. So divide one more time. 3 goes into 18 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. That's going to be nice. Subtract, nothing left. Zero is definitely smaller than three. There's nothing left to bring down, so that's my answer, 216. But now we need to put it into our answer document as a free response, because there is no A, B, C, or D to choose from. So when you are thinking of that, you've got your decimal spot there that kind of splits it unevenly. To the right of the decimal, you've got two places, and to the left of the decimal, you've got three places. And so that's what we're gonna need is to the left of the decimal, we're going to need this 216, that's it.